Hello, hello, my friends. And welcome. <laughs> Sound good? This is uh, one, of my, one of my favorite recently noticed DSP gimmicks. I, I don't know what I could call it. It's like a midstream break ramble. It's a unique, uh, a unique gimmick that DSP been been sliding into his streams recently. It's getting longer and longer, too. He already does an hour-long pre-stream pretty much by default. He pretty much does it on purpose at this point. But when he go on his break, he run 20 minutes of music, sometimes 25 minutes of music. And then he comes back to talk for 10 minutes. And this is a, this is, this is a good one. It's actually from the day, but it's a good one because he slide in some complaints, some, a little bit of viewer complaints, some YouTube complaints, and a little bit of stealth begging. So if you thought he begged enough for tips, please tip me. I get those immediately. You should tip me. You should tip me. If you thought he begged for tips enough during pre-stream, don't worry, he got you down. He got you. Because he slid it in for the, for the mid-stream break too. And of course he got the second pre-stream that he don't even upload. He gonna do it on that one again. As a matter of fact, he don't do second streams on Sundays. He has a lot of work to do. He got a stack of bills to pay, and he got to message people on Patreon. It's a lot of work. I don't blame him for not streaming tonight. But I just wanna just wanna play this for you, cause I know a lot of people don't show up to his streams live to catch these hot gimmicks. And uh, sadly, this don't really get recorded and uploaded by other people because they don't watch the fucking streams either. <laughs> Oh yeah, and we also have some uh, bugs. Thugs on the floor, we got thugs on the floor. Shoot him in the face, cause it's thugs on the floor. Shoot him in the, shoot him in the, shoot him in the. My apologies. Thugs on the floor. How could I get that? Face, cause it's thugs on the floor. Thugs on the floor. Shoot him in the, shoot him in the, shoot him in the face, cause it's thugs on the All right, everybody, give everyone a moment to please get back to your viewing devices as the stream will resume shortly here with more Jack 3. I hope you guys have been having fun so far with the gameplay of the stream. Uh, so far, so good. With a little bit of rage, but for the most part, the game is pretty solid so far, and I'm enjoying it. Welcome, my friends. Uh, got a couple shout-outs to do. Excuse me. Ooh, a couple shout-outs to do from the break here. We've got Hand Celebratory. Cheers, so we must have become toxic. We must up, uh, accept positivity and reject the toxicity. I agree with you, my friend. Yes, I do. I agree with you. Also, shout out to Just Cam 2 who subscribed to the channel. Thank you, Just Cam 2 for the subscription. So, FYI, there will be about another 90 minutes of Jack 3 gameplay today. I just spilled water all over the place, so I'm going to grab a tissue to clean that up. <laughs> I went to pick up my drink and it went psh, all over the place. Hold on a second, guys. Okay. Alright, just to remind you guys of the schedule for the next few days. Alright, we've got... Uh, tonight, no second stream because it's Sunday. Typically, I don't do a second stream on Sunday. Tonight, I got a ton of shit to do. I got the weekend preview with the new patron crawl that I got to set up. I gotta message all of the patrons to let them know how to get their perks, and I gotta set up the new poll, or excuse me, the new nomination stretch for people to start nominating games for the Rageathon. Um, yeah, and message all those patrons from June all tonight. Plus, I got bills to pay, so I got a lot of shit to do tonight. Super busy. Tomorrow we return to dual streams, double stream days. Tomorrow we'll start with more Persona Five, and this time we're actually gonna get into action. Thank God. Okay. Um, thank goodness. So, yes, we will be doing some action-based gameplay, some actual combat again in my return to Persona 5, which, by the way, uh, you know, a year away, resumed it on Friday, ended up being four hours of story development, which a lot of people were like, oh my god, really? No action? I hear ya, but we're gonna get some of that on Monday. Then Monday night will be some H1Z1. I'll be returning to the game after over a week away from it to check out the new update. They actually updated the game late last week with apparently some new gameplay content, so we're going to be checking that out. Uh, then on Tuesday, more Jack 3. 
And Tuesday night, I'll be playing Super... Uh, excuse me. Uh, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike on my nighttime stream. All right? Then on Wednesday, we're playing it by ear. I think tentatively, I said I may be doing, like, Red Faction, but I'm not sure yet. Um... I want to play it by ear and see how people are liking the content. People are really liking Persona 5. Maybe I'll keep it as a mainstream. But if not, if it's getting, you know, tired or bored, then maybe I'll alternate between other stuff. Okay? We'll see how it goes. Um, so there you go. Uh, that's kind of the rough idea for this week. Balancing Jack with Persona, with Red Faction Guerrilla, with some uh, Battle Royal, with some Street Fighter. Big variety this week. Okay? Now, some might be saying... <laughs> Why isn't Phil playing Octopath Traveler this week? Very simple, because I'm playing Persona 5. Once I finish Persona 5, then I will look into and probably be playing Octopath Traveler, but I have to finish Persona 5. There's no way I could play two JRPGs at the same time. It's, it's suicide. I know from personal experience here, for 10 years of making content, people do not like double RPGs, okay? Uh, Russian Love Machine just did a 100-bit cheer. He says, Phil, want to know if you think such petition websites have particular effects and impacts uh, despite accumulating a ton of signatures, I'm not sure what you mean. If you had an example of a particular petition or something, then maybe I could answer, but I'm not sure what you mean. In, in, in general, petition websites don't really do anything. Most of them are just there for the sake of saying, oh, look, there's massive crowd appeal for something. It doesn't necessarily mean anything's going to happen just because a petition was signed. I think there's a couple exceptions to that, but in general, probably not. Um... Then he also says, are you going to play Mega Man 11? Yes, I am playing Mega Man 11 this October. Yes, October. Definitely playing it. Very excited. Okay. All right, guys. Is that it? We're ready to resume. Again, I want to say thanks to everyone who has cheered, subbed, and tipped. And reminder, I said this on pre-stream. I'll say it w once more time quickly. Uh, right now, YouTube ad revenue is in the toilet. My views are actually way up. But... My revenue is down. I'm making half as much money on YouTube right now as I was in the months of May and June. And it's YouTube's fault for not being able to get ad space and advertisements in the summer. So your support on stream is very much appreciated because without it, uh, I'm going to have a few really rough months here. So far, things have been really great. This week, you guys are very supportive. So, you know, you like my stuff, please keep it up. And thank you for any support you could lend. Right now, today, the best way you could support me is to tip me. Right now, I received two tips today so far. How do you tip? Well, if you look below the stream, there's a button that says Tips Jar. Click on that. Take you to my PayPal page where you can leave a tip. Or, if you can't see that button, type exclamation point tip into the stream chat. That'll also bring up the link to the PayPal page, okay? Uh, Karma keeps asking the same question. Karmaka is asking, why aren't Twitch ads as lucrative as YouTube ads? I have no idea. You would have to ask Twitch. I would guess because uh, Twitch ads, they probably, number one, can't get as many advertisers as YouTube because they don't have as many viewers. And number two, because uh, it's a very different experience running an advertisement for a live stream of a few hundred people versus thousands of people watching ads over time. Um, that's what I would think. It's like, if we want to advertise, you want to advertise to a guaranteed video that's there that everyone can watch on demand versus only one live broadcast. You know what I mean? But I could I mean, I don't really understand the, enter uh, you know, the, the entertainment advertisement industry, so I'm probably not the right guy to ask. Okay. All right, let me get my headphones on and we shall resume. We just got to the point where uh, Daxter was going to begin doing some action-based platforming here. Here we go. <laughs> 